Hey guys, today this lab is lab 18, access control slash audit, so I'm going to be doing a little bit of windows tonight, and I'll be going by the prac which is on my desktop, I'm on my laptop, so the first step it tells me to go into windows server, 2k3, uh, internal victim, so I'll click into that. Yeah, I'm all cool with that. So I'm using NetLab, which is my university's uh, way of accessing their virtual machines. Send control delete. I'm pretty sure password is what they tell us to uh, access, and that looks pretty good to me. Configuring ICMMP on the firewall is the first uh, little exercise out of the three of them. PFSense, okay, so we're going to be using a few things here. Command prompt first off, right on the desktop there. And we're in the C drive, so to make a directory, we go mkdr, then salary, that's what it tells me to do. And dirs with an asterisk, that's a wildcard, so that means anything in the directory drive of C. It starts with an S, will show up, and salary does. Now to change to that directory, we go CD salary, nice and easy because we're already in C drive. Now it's wanting us to echo, have a nice day, and it will display, have a nice day. <laughs> echo just repeats or prints out what you say basically. Okay, to put it, they want us to put it out to a text file, so we go echo, have a nice day with a greater than sign salary.txt so that will print that to salary.txt in the salary directory which is inside C drive now if we type salary.txt have a nice day <laughs> that will show the contents inside salary which it has done so now they want us to echo and a good night with a double and then salary.txt so I'm guessing that adds it on the line after we'll find out salary. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing with the two it uh, just basically makes a new line and basically copies what you've just put out so uh, next up echo Bob Jones Salary.txt again. Now one would think that that would erase everything else. Yep. So essentially, one will have the main sentence you've written out. Uh, I'm guessing two is a line after it. A uh, bit of a double, double redirect. That seems to be the terminology they're using. And next I want to echo George Hope. Let's double his to salary.txt. Okay, I've only done four, but that's fine. You can type in whatever you want. I might even just go to the up. Yeah, it was supposed to be more. Uh, it's okay. Next, they want us to go echo John Doe. Five zeros, so we've got four there, five on the salary.txt. Type it out. Yep, okay. Each one it will append more information. Echo Steve Silver. Four hundred thousand dollars. I'm guessing it's five. It's hard to tell. Okay, that's five. Salary.txt. <laughs> and then Greg Sharp. Is he five, I think. I don't really know it's quick to be honest. Greg Sharp. Type salary.txt. So the only one that would be unhappy there is George with uh, only 20,000. Everyone else is getting much more, 80,000 plus. 
for your user accounts without an ICO. All right, now we're creating a new user account. So net user manager can't spell tonight. Uh, pass oh, password hash add net user employee same password here, which is very convenient. All right, so we've got two new users there, and then we're going to go into my computer. That's what the uh, sheet is telling me anyway. Local disk C, salary. Okay, once we go into properties of the folder, yep. A bit of an alt, alt enter there to get the properties, a bit of a shortcut. Advanced, hang on, security, advanced, I think it wanted to take away that, remove, okay, now I think that was just taking away general admins, uh, manager, mm. I want to take that out. Manager, which is a local account we made up. Yep, that's fine. The reference was there already. That's good. And then we got employee. Should be good. Yep, no dramas at all. Full control. Control, I think it says for both of them. And we'll have full control for administrators as well, thanks. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's telling me deny <laughs> for employee. And allow for manager, that would make sense. That looks good to me. So that was a little bit of uh, introduction to users, permissions, making up a document, who has access to what. We'll now move on to part two. So part two, configuring auditing for object access is the exercise. Now to enable auditing on Windows. gpedit.msc have told us. This will go to group policy. It's generally found in the server versions. Well, not generally. Pretty much most of the time. And okay, we're going down to computer configuration from the local into Windows settings. Now security settings. Local policies. Audit policy. And okay, yep, we're there. Yeah, not much happening there. <laughs> Maybe we're going to enable it. Who knows? I've never done this exercise. Shouldn't be too bad, anyways. Okay, if they want us to run now, run forest <laughs> DSA or MSC directory, Active Directory, seemingly users. All right, it wants us to go into. Domain controllers under MSEC local. And go to properties. Group policy tab. And we're going to edit some group policies here. So I think we're going to where we're going before. Security and settings. Oh, what was next? Local policies. Yep, I'm in there. Order policy. And object access. So we can apply these. And now we're going to 
update all of these with command prompt. So we'll go into the command prompt GPU update force. Now that will make the policy available since we've made changes we have to make that command apparent and looking good here back to computer C drive probably already there salary give it properties and then security we can go into advanced for the administrator. Ordering tab, click add. Manager. That's all good and well. Alright, successful, full control. Don't give them too much. And okay to that. Now we're going to add another one, which will be employee, the other user account we made in the first part of the project. I'm going to guess failed. Yep, all of them are ticked to be failed. So that was the second part of the prac. So we were applying a few policies there and using the command prompt to update that policy so then it would impact and make changes over the network and including the manager and employee making respective changes according to the parameters we set. The final part is viewing the security log to determine security instances. So we go down to the bottom again to run dsa.msc msec local, we expand that domain controllers properties and we go to group policy edit and I think a similar sort of setup so we go to windows settings I think yep security settings I'm going to go to local policies, audit policy policies user rights assignment uh, this time apparently find allow log on locally allow yep that was a right next to it click into that one and we click add our user or group now think everyone so I'll type in everyone Everyone can log on, <laughs> I'm guessing. I know the policy off by heart. Now they want us to go into the command prompt, and this is where we will need to update the policy as we've allowed everyone to log on locally, I'm assuming. Allow log on locally, okay, yep. Yeah. So we go GP up. Update a bit of a dash and force to update this policy. Alright, now it wants us to log off. And we've got a sending control delete, of course. Log on to yep. And to log on as manager and then password we had earlier, which is Capital P and a at for the A and the zero for O. So this is a manager account. Go into my computer. Local disk C. Salary. And they are able to get into that folder. It's terrific. I'm guessing the employee won't be able to. That would probably make sense, but it's just a random guess I've got going. So it wants me to log off again, and I reckon it's going to want me to log on as employee. So I'll go with that employee. It's interesting how they have the same password. 
Okay, let's log in nice and quickly. No sarcasm there, all the guys. And get out. My whoops. My computer. So this, I'd imagine, being at a lower level, it feels like we've set things to a lower level here. And as the, the moment I say it's going quick, it uh, starts to slow down a little bit. My computer salary and. See, salary is not accessible. Access is denied. I reckon that does make sense. <laughs> At least I've done the prac correctly there. And log off again. Now we're logging back in as administrator. And just an old password for that one. And then we're going to have a little bit of a look in event viewer. So they reckon, just to see who's been logging on, who's been having a snoop around where, who's been doing the right and the wrong things. Eventviewer.msc. And we'll go into security. Look for object access. Click the security log. Category. This will divide them up, or freeze them up. So now we're in the admin account, eventviewer.msc, just to see what's been going on, so who's been up to no good. And go into the security tab of that one. And it wants us to go to the category column, look for object access, there it is right there. We have to do this very slowly. As we can see here, there are two types of audits: there's failure and success, and we do remember before clicking on the failure area for the employee. So like I said, I will click it. And uh, it gives us the date. What they were trying to access, which is the salary. And the user. So they've been caught red-handed. Employee has been caught red-handed trying to get into something they shouldn't be doing. And I think they're going to lose their job over that. So I reckon they're in deep. I think that's uh, basically it, that's all it's telling us, so over this prac we've uh, created a document, salary.txt, and to sign permissions to particular people, mainly the admin or manager, the manager to be able to have a look at this document, and so we've cut out the people that shouldn't be seeing it like the employee, so make an account that's not so... Uh, I guess privileged to see it and updating group policy through the user interface and on the command prompt to apply those changes throughout the network. So yeah, it's been a it's a reasonably intense tutorial <laughs> for myself. I haven't done this one yet, so I hope you've enjoyed it anyway. Uh, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it, share it to your mates, and don't forget to check out my other tutorials and subscribe as well. It'll be fantastic. Uh, cheers for hanging around, guys. I'll see you all next time.